by the search engine. Now, number two powerful method of generating traffic to your website is called what? Joint venture. This is the joint venture is the fastest way of generating traffic to your website, and it is free because you know you are not going to pay your joint venture partners unless they make sales for you. For those people who have been on the internet for any period of my, uh, of time, I'm sure that you have heard one of those phenomena. Back then, I had a very good friend of mine, Mike Joyner, an American, now lives in New Zealand because his girlfriend is from Korea, lives in New Zealand. And he had his uh, farewell package. He sold about a million dollars in about two weeks. Later, we had John Reese, his traffic secrets. Again, he sold about one million dollars in a week. Later, we had Mark Fusser, his uh, what, uh, butterfly marketing. And later, also, he had his 777 project. All sold like you know, a couple of million dollars inside of a week. I have a very good friend of mine, used to be a student of mine, but now I believe he's doing more than I do. Uh, Iwan Cha from Singapore, he did $1.497 million in 36 hours. All these phenomena, they are all different nature, different type of products, but they have one thing in common. What is it? They had a powerful joint major partners, ladies and gentlemen. Big deal. You know, I mean, anyone, if any one of you had an internet marketing product, that is decent, you know, in quality. But you had a lineup of big-time internet marketers, Tom Hua, Brent McFall, Armin Morris, Stephen Pierce, you know, everybody line up, and we all agree, say, let's do promotion to our combined list of few million people on that day. Every single one of you, any one of you could sell a shitload of that product, right? Are you with me? No big deal. But the problem is, how can you get these people to promote your product for you? They all so proud of their million dollar launches, but they didn't tell you the process of getting there. You have to learn how to step up the ladder. For example, if you are going to sell a dog food recipe book, this is what you do to do joint venture. You type in dog at Google or Yahoo, see whose website listed on the number one position. Obviously, these sites have established the business. Google appreciate their quality content and everything else. They have good customer database. Right? And you contact those you know, top dogs in the industry. Then you write them later, you say, I love your product. I bought your product. I love your website. And guess what? According to my market research, I believe a good percentage of your customers would be interested in dog food recipe information. Now I've written a brand new book. What about if you let your customer know? I pay you 90% of the sales volume as commission, because industry standard is 50%. Sometimes people pay 60%, sometimes people pay a little more. But this time, I want to encourage you to give them the majority of the sales volume, like, such as 90%, because even if this guy don't sell anything, you don't have to pay anything. Every additional sales this person is going to bring to you is going to give you additional profit. Are you with me? Because after your ebook is developed or software is developed, you don't care how many people download it from your website. The traffic cons consumption is minimal. It doesn't cost you anything to let other people to download as many times as they want. So every additional sale, any business partner, joint venture partner can bring to you will give you additional profit. So you don't have to be narrow-minded and only give them 50%. Why? This is how you step your ladder up. For example, if you have an internet marketing industry related product, you come to me, you say, Tom, I'm going to ask you to promote my product to your customer database and I'm going to give you, only keep it you, between you and me, I'm going to give you 90% of the sales volume as commission. Then you have just given me an offer that is too good to be refused because we receive joint venture proposals every day and we can't even have enough time to look at what you got to offer. Now if you come to me, give me an offer like that, then I might look at it. Then perhaps I did a promotion for you if your product is good. Then next day you go to Brett McFall, you say, Hey Brett, you know what, Tom Hua did a joint venture deal with me yesterday and he made $45,000 overnight. What about you? You can do it for me too. I give you 80%. That's a lot more than... Uh -huh. That's how you step your leg up. I wouldn't tell him you gave me 90% because now at least you have a case study to prove. Your order link is working. Your sales page is working. Your product is well received in the marketplace. Then next, you go to Sean Roach, you say, Brett McFord and Tom Hua, they both did joint venture with me. They did great. They made $45,000 plus each overnight. What about you? No, you can promote it for me too. Of course, I'm going to give you 70% as your commission. You're a big boy, right? 
That's how you step your ladder up. You see, all these people, they became famous, they became multi-dollar lunch product owners. They all did this. I wish many times they knocking on the door saying, can you please, Tom, promote my product for me? They didn't tell you that, did they? That's the secret of stepping up the ladder. Later, if you did a few times of those successful launches, then you can tap the shoulders with those big time marketers next time. Much easier, say, hey, I got another brand new product. Do you want to promote it for me? And then most of the time, because we become very, you become more and more known in the industry and people are going to respect you more than if you were a beginner. I'm sorry, you might, don't, you might not like it, but you know, I have to tell the truth. I'd rather give you the ugly truth than beautiful lies, okay? In the beginning, no matter what industry you are in, if you are not an established expert, you have to take the time to step the ladder up. Are you with me? Then one day you become more and more well-known, then you can give them, not to give them 90%, give them 50%, they'll be happily doing it for you. Because now they know your product is going to be very well received in the marketplace if they don't promote it for you at as well. Are you with me? So they become competitors between. So this is the key here to find who's got your potential customers and also have a large list. That's about joint venture.